I could show you some prints. Um, is the light okay for you? As a kid, I was totally obsessed with making movies, and uh, I didn't do any photography. It was always there in a cinematic way and, a, and recognizing like good cinematography and stuff like that. I moved to San Diego in 88 and so I said, oh okay, I'll, I'll go there. And they did have a good um, film department and so it was actually pretty strong. But it didn't do anything but make me not want to make movies really. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, here you go. Shit. No food, all film. But for cameras, let's see, what can I show you? Medium format, shoots six by seven. Um, and then this is a contact 645. Uh, this is a Yashica Samurai. It's a, it shoots half frames, 35. Almost like clicked away like a movie camera on this moment. Uh, yeah, I mean, when I got out of school, um, the first thing I did was uh, these commercials for Epitaph, and like, I think I met with someone at Interscope, and I was like, oh man, this is how this, is how this all works, you know? Like, and it is how it all works, but it was just meeting people completely randomly and having someone just happen to be the person in charge of saying like, oh, I want, you could come to LA and do commercials for us. And I was like, really? Um, so I have like a long kind of list of just documentary work that I've done through the years that, that I think kind of connects to photography. Inside the world of say the Black Crows uh, and all of the different people, like when I met them they were with Jimmy Page. It was a really cool um, kind of blend and always different musicians coming by and uh, and then he was, had just started dating Kate Hudson, and so it was like, there was just a lot going on, and I was like, I'm, sh I'm shooting this, you know? And even if people aren't famous, they're gonna be sensitive to the fact that you're holding a camera. So you have to kind of uh, either be super in their face and not care, or you have to be super respectful and try to figure out your place in this melee that has just presented itself, and can you, gracefully take pictures without bothering anyone and uh, or do you care whether or not you're bothering anyone it's a weird town to live in too Los Angeles because to just approach somebody or to see somebody and say like oh I'd love to shoot with you in LA I think that just sounds like a line. It instantly triggers, like every girl's boyfriend thinks that there's something going on, you know, and then like, come on. I do, I still enjoy that. I still like finding ra people completely randomly that I uh, just need to shoot, you know? And I, I did, I've done it uh, a couple times recently. All right, so let's see, these are some of my darkroom prints. Uh, this is somebody that I met randomly that I just was like, oh, we should, we should shoot. and. She texted me like a couple hours later and said, yeah, let's do it. Her name's Cayman and she's from Texas, but she's coming to LA. Uh, love her, she's great to shoot. She's one of my favorite models. Um, her name's Sylvia, she lives in New York. Again, I think I just saw her on Tumblr and said, next time I'm in New York, we should shoot. And she said, okay. So the style I think is trying to create a story out of a situation or an implied story or an implied intimacy. I think the hardest part, especially in LA, is getting people to not pose. Oh, Alexandria, this girl was great. I try not to be too overt and too uh, sexually provocative. It's more like uh, dreamy, at least that's what I'm trying to do. I don't know, I don't even know that I'm like trying to do anything. I'm just trying to figure the, the situation out. Oh, there's your boy Brad Elterman. There he is with a hot dog. <laughs> People are gonna say, they wanna know who that girl is more than they wanna know who the photographer is, I think. Shooting, seeing the, seeing the pictures, printing them is pretty fun, and then knowing that the person that you shot like likes them whether it's a celebrity or their publicist or some girl or 
your friend or a job, you know, you want to know that like it went well, you know, like, or that they're happy, you know, that's some, there's something there. I have this blog that I do called Welcome to LA. So like, I just wander around when I drive around town and there's so much funny stuff that you see and there's so many different vibes. So like, I will just like constantly shoot this stuff and then I'm gonna end up, it's gonna end up being a book, but um, right now it's just a uh, blog. I mean, if I'm going to be in L.A., I might as well do stuff like that.